let's go into crude oil real quick. Uh, what we want to do, guys and gals, let's talk about the trend boxes a little bit. We're in an uptrend in crude. Uh, we have three time frames that, uh, that we look at uh, for crude oil and also gold and all these other markets. Uh, basically, the trend box um, is what it's for, uh, well, what it was designed to do is re designed to look at the overall larger trend in the market, meaning instead of trading off a small time frame, this is a three sim Rinko. So here's a three sim Rinko, which is a very small time frame, very small Rinko bar. So you can see it's a three sim Rinko. But what it does, it allows you to get into smaller time frames with larger trend. So these boxes are actually right here are looking at the nine sim Rinko. So when this box forms, this big green box, it's actually measuring not the three sim Rinko bar trend because there's a trend filter built into my Rinko bars. It's measuring the nine sim Rinko bar. So what that means, if you see a big green box that prints, that means you have what? You have a bias up. If you see a red box that prints, you have a bias down. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to get in retracements with the bottom oscillator in connection where there's synergy between the larger time frame and the smaller time frame. The best way to do it is you look for full retracements at the bottom oscillator when you are in an uptrend with the moving averages or try to get above 90% on the oscillator and try to get a reversal bar or negative market delta when you're in a downtrend. So this morning after 7 o'clock, we've had several opportunities to get long the market. So a, a nice technique that I like to look at is when uh, is the size of the boxes also. The size of the boxes will dictate whether you have possible reversals in the market or continuation patterns. If you see a thin box like this, a thin box where the width of the box is smaller than the previous boxes, that means you have speed in the market and they're trying to mark the market up. If you see a thin box when the boxes are red, they're trying to mark the market down and typically you're going to see speed in the market. What that means to us as traders is that once you see, you see a big thick box like this, that's a possible reversal box. When you see a thin box come in, or more importantly, when we break through symmetry, here's one of my favorite trades, bringing through symmetry, and then you get going. If you see a thin box like this, the width you're going to have looks like speed in the market. So what we want to try to do then is we want to try to get the first retracement after seeing speed in the market after a consolidation box or what would be called a, um, a uh, reversal box. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that first full retracement. So right when you see speed come in the market here, you see the speed. We're starting to come in. Look for that first ABC pattern <clears throat> to come in and try to get down below 10% and try to get that first reversal bar. Now what you would do is you wait for the first reversal bar. Here's your green reversal bar because we have a trend filter built in. So this right here would be your entry to close of the green reversal bar or positive market delta. That's where positive market delta came in. So there's your entry. Now, the stops have to be very limited on these trade setups. It doesn't matter what time frame you use. The same stop should be applied. So there's your entry at the close of that green bar. Your stops are always two ticks below that swing low. Now, I do have the back testing software where you can test uh, smaller stops if you want and see which one you like the, the best. I like two ticks below the swing low. Some traders like one tick, some traders like three, some like break, I mean, even at the low of that bar. It, it's up to you, but I like two ticks as a standard. So there's your stop right there, two ticks below the swing low. There's your entry, there's your stop. Uh, now, a lot of traders like to use symmetry dots, these symmetry dots, sim dots, red and blue symmetry dots for places to scale contracts. So if you haven't scaled contracts yet, within two ticks below those symmetry dots, it's a great place to scale first contracts and then let the runner run, break even plus one, and see if we can get up to the next set of symmetry, uh, which is 51. So 49 would be your limit order on that. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to buy retracements with the overall trend direction. Now this is, like I said, a small time frame that we'd like to uh, get into, um, but you can actually go larger time frames also. If I go to a five Simrico, if I'm looking at a five, let me show you how when the th boxes get thin. And yesterday was a perfect example. I mean, you got to be really, really smack you right in the face. Now, here's your ultimate setup is what you're looking for. And let me show you. Now, this is a five. It's a little larger time frame. 
Five Simrink are great for trend days. And I'll tell you why. So I'm looking at a five. Let me pull that up for you. This is a five Simrinko. Now on the five sim, I'm using a larger, real large time frame. I'm using a 25 Simrinko. So these boxes that print are actually looking at a 25 uh, symmetry Rinko with a trend filter built in. Now what I want to do is I want to look for the same type of setup. My moving averages are up. You can see my moving average crossovers up. This is all day yesterday morning. Really easy to pick the market apart. So if you're up or moving up, there's your big green box that prints at closes. After you get that first close, you want to look for what? You want to look for the first retracement by retracement with an overall pulling bar. Now, like I said, the speed, the, the width of the box tells you if speed's coming in the market. Now, let me show you a little trick to this on all these markets. And it works like this every single day on all markets. It doesn't matter what market trade, the same looking setup. Use your symmetry dots for breakouts. If I see a speed bar come in, that's the width of the bar is thin. If I see a speed bar that comes in, and I'm breaking through symmetry, I got a high potential trade for a retracement pop. What that means is this, and I'm going to show you it worked on gold this morning a second ago too. It was a nice trade. It works on all markets like this. It's a really neat little technique. So there's your first retracement. So you see how we have symmetry down here, red and blue. If you break through symmetry and see a speed bar go through symmetry, there's my symmetry dots. Look how the, the width of this bar, the width is very thin compared to this big consolidation reversal box. You see big boxes like that that's considered that's con considered a consolidation reversal. So the large the larger the width, the larger the consolidation for a continuation or or it's a possible reversal. Right when you see it, the width of the box is thin. Right when it's thin, you know you got speed in the market. You want to try to get that first retracement right there. Once again, you seen symmetry here. It pops, symmetry breaks closes look what happens there's your first retracement look at the speed box closes above symmetry there's your speed box again look at your look look at your entry right there first reversal box this actually lands on symmetry giving you added support once again nice entry okay so these speed boxes give you indication here's another speed box here breaking through symmetry I love these setups because it's telling you you went from a big consolidation box here, big consolidation box, I'm sorry. Here's your big consolidation box. Consolidation box. There's your first retracement. It catches that one. Here again. It caught them all yesterday morning. It really didn't matter which one you picked. They all worked. But look at the speed box here. Look at the width of it. Look how thin it is. Real thin box after big consolidation, consolidation. Broke through symmetry. And we get the overall reversal right there speed box into a ultimate reversal so all these all these are entry points by all these right here whoops buy 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 my point is is that when you're in trend markets that you can really pick the market apart with this system because the five sim works equally as well as a three sim so now what you're looking at is you're looking at what you're looking at big consolidation box here this morning into a speed box so when that speed box printed on the five sim you can actually use a three sim for entry also so this three sim trade right here is a buy setup right because you have a speed box coming in not only on the five sim but you're gonna get a nice shallow retracement right here so you can have another shot at the entry with market profile as your confluence so just had another entry right here at the last buy 30 went all the way up to 40 for 10 ticks 30 was the entry, hit 40 a second ago to, to get you out of this, the, 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 the play. My, my, my point that you really need to, res this has to resonate, is you have to make sure you look at the width of the boxes. If you get thin boxes on any of these time frames, then you're good to go. So this is a five sim. Here's your three. You'll get more trades. And then we got the our overall large nine sim. Now, the nine sim is really important for one reason. Now, this happened a couple days ago. And... I'm going to tell you a setup that just really should smack you in the face about getting a possible trade, a big trade. If you see a big, this is a nine sim Renko. This is my largest time frame I show in the room. Nine sim Renko, but I'm showing a nine sim off of a 25 uh, Renko. These red boxes are 25. These green boxes are 25. If you see a speed bar like this, 
a speed bar after a big consolidation box on this time frame with the full retracement, you're looking at a possible large move in the market. It doesn't matter what market you look at. You can back test this all you want. When you get um, the back testing software, you're going to find out this is your highest percentage play in the market off the larger time frame. Because what's happening is, is you're getting a speed bar out of consolidation and that first retracement should really start cranking the market down. So that is just an ultimate buy or sell signal right here. Same thing here. Speed bar comes in. Look how thin it is. The width. Thin. This is a whole trading day. This is a whole session on crude oil. That is a beautiful entry. Once again, you get a full retracement. Look at the next one. Another big one. Look at the speed bar come in. Speed bar comes in right there. There's your speed bar. Look how thin, thin, two thin bars in a row tells you, hey, man, we got a retracement snapback coming. Another one. It was one, two, three, four, five. It was five for five. It did not lose on one trade on the 19th. It was 100% accurate using this technique. Now, what you can do is this. You can actually let the speed bar come in. Once it comes in off the large time frame, immediately look to your small time frame to actually look. Once you get above 90% or below 10% on this larger time frame, you can adjust yourself to get into a smaller time frame. But you can see that what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, the, the width, since I have a trend filter built in, the width of these bars mean a lot to me. Not just because they're red or green because they mean uh, the width means they're trying to mark the market up or mark the market down. So if I see, let me blow this up a little bit. If I see thin, thin, a width, thin width right here or a thin width right here or a thin width here and here or a thin width here or a thin width here, I know retracement, retracement, retracement. Same way on the upside. If I see a big consolidation box like this and see how the thin bar on the upside right there, the real thin bar, I'm just begging for that market to give me a retracement. And it catches the exact low here with the full retracement. Your best possible trades are going to be full retracements off the 9 sim with the overall uh, uh, big consolidation box into the thin. That's when you're possibly going to see a big run in the market. And that works on, you look at it on all markets. It doesn't matter what market you're trading. It's exactly the same type of setup. So those are the three time frames we like to look at. What we're trying to do is look at the market. That's a big downtrend. You can see the big downtrends, really easy to spot. Here's a big uptrend with thin boxes for retracements. Now what are we doing? See this? See how big the boxes are? We're in a consolidation phase right now. So now on the consolidation phase, what are we trying to do? You're trying to break out, and we're trying to go back into a possible move up, and that's what this last trade is for right here. Can it try to get back in an uptrend, and that's what it's trying to do as we speak. Now, like I said, one of the best trades I like to see, and let me show you, I'll bring, since we're doing uh, crude over here, here's the last gold trade. I cannot overlook this trade. If I, uh, one of my best setups that I've been finding on the trend boxes, if I'm consolidating in between symmetry. If I'm consolidating in between red and uh, blue symmetry dots, and I get big boxes that's consolidating. If I break outside of symmetry, if I get outside of the symmetry dots, outside of them, I want to look for the first full retracement and try to get long that market. This is a long side setup right here. What that means is it usually likes doing an ABC pattern. It likes to break out of the symmetry with a speed bar. See the speed bar? Real thin bar. It likes to rotate back down, and then the rotation is a continuation to the upside. You're going to see thousands and thousands and thousands of trades like this in all markets. Because what you're having is you're having a breakout of symmetry with the full retracement with overall trend context. Now, the downside will look like this. The downside, let me make sure you understand this, the downside will look just the opposite. What you'll do is you will break through symmetry on a speed bar, real thin box. Gosh darn it, there we go. The mouse is getting a little crazy here this morning. So you'll break down through. You see how we broke, how we got thin bar right here, the, the width is very thin after big consolidation boxes. You break through thin, that first retracement, there's a nice sell at 8 o'clock this morning, 8.05 this morning. All right, so once you break through symmetry and retest symmetry, it can be, it can be one of your best trades. So that's what a sell setup looks like, ABC sell. This is what it looks like a buy setup looks like. Same type of setup, though. You break through symmetry, you break through symmetry, right? You break through. Rotate back up, 
There's your reversal bar. Same. You break through, rotate. And that's on all, all this is a three sim Rico. Okay, it's a very small time frame. But you can still see the ABCs that it tries to do. You're trying to get those ABCs. Here's another example. I, you, I'm telling you, the setup is just, it smacks you right in the face. It's so easy to see. If I break through symmetry, if I break through symmetry, big red box forms. I break through symmetry. Look at that speed box here. They're gorgeous setups. Right there, the real thin bar, that means there's the path of least uh, support. They're trying to mark the market down. Speeds come to the market. Look at the speed come to the market. Look at the speed. That first retracement, you get a full retracement above 90%. I'm retesting the symmetry already broke. I like the ones that just come up to symmetry, retest it, and don't close a whole body close above. It can it can break the wicks, can break. I'm not worried about the highs and lows of the bar. I'm worried about the body of the candle, open versus close. So I want that body of the candle to straddle that, straddle that symmetry. As long as it straddles it, there you go. Here's another one. Another one breaks through symmetry. I got a thin bar. Thin bar speed's coming in the market. Do I get a full retracement? It's above 90%. You can see I have consistency in all my setups. I'm trying to see consistency. Break little small ABC pattern. I'm trying to break through symmetry. Here's another one. Break, retest. You're trying to break through on a retest, and you're good to go. So here's another one. You break through, you retest, continuation speed. So it, it's, all, it's the same exact looking setup on all markets. This is gold this morning, but it doesn't matter. It's the same looking setup break retest full retracement setups that's what we're trying to do in the market okay so our last setup here on crude then was right here right we had a full retracement it hit our first target right there that's our last setup full retracement look how it broke through symmetry though with speed right there you're below 90 or 10 percent look at the thin bars thin but look at the five sim how this set this up also Look how the, look how the larger time frame. These are not thick bars. Your larger largest time frame than nine cent. Look at that thick green bar uh, reversal box. Then look how thin the next box is. Look at the speed come in the market. So my point is, guys, before we shut this off, Joe. My point is, concentrate on the width of the boxes. They mean a lot. They're telling you if they're trying to mark the market up or mark the market down. They're telling you. If it's a path of least uh, uh, support or path of least resistance, and that will really help you out engaging if you're going to have a nice follow-through in trend.